Hi, my name is Andy, and what we're going to do today is we're, we are going to um, set up a couple of partitions, also create a bootable USB drive, and uh, install Mac OS 10.5 onto your USB drive. Uh, the reason we want to do this is because we're preparing for a major catastrophe. Uh, you might know by now that um, in order to restore your Mac drive, you need to use your DVD. Um, if we put this on your USB drive, then you can bypass the DVD and it'll be a lot easier to restore it that way. So we'll be going over some partitioning as well. All right, so let's, uh, let's get started. Once you insert your DVD into your Mac, you're going to get this window. Uh, once you get this little window, it's the uh, Mac OS X install DVD. Uh, go ahead and close it by clicking on the red X right here. Okay. Once you do that, we want to go to Go on the top applications I'm sorry go to utilities once you go to utilities go to disk utility all right once the disk utility screen opens up you'll notice that on the left hand side it, it'll have all your uh, hard drives also you'll notice also it says um, it has the Mac install DVD on this area right here uh, what we're going to do, do first is create an image of your installed DVD. Uh, once we do that, we're going to put that on your USB drive. So let's get started by creating an image. Click here where it says Mac OS X install DVD. Once you do that, go to the top, click where it says new image. Um, where it says save as, you can leave that alone. You're going to choose where you want to save it to. I'm going to save it to my desktop. On the bottom where it says image format, remove the compressed and click where it says DVD-CD Master. You can encryption, you can leave that alone. It says none right now. And then click on save. Now this will take a couple of minutes, uh, maybe five or ten minutes. Uh, so I'll just let it run and I'll come back to this. Okay, that actually took about 20 minutes for the image to be created. It's on your desktop at this time. Um, if you'll notice on the left hand side, it doesn't it does not appear for me it doesn't at least. Uh, this is because I took it off. What I wanted to show you is if it doesn't show up here, all you have to do is go to your desktop, grab the image, and drop it on this pane right here. Once you do that, it'll say Mac OS X install DVD dot CDR. So at this time, what we need to do next is we need to create, create the partitions on our USB drive. Uh, the drive is right here. So let's get started doing that. Okay, so now we're ready to start creating our partitions. They're normally called volumes uh, for Macintosh, but I'll, I'll refer to it as partition. Uh, you'll see your hard drive, your external hard drive on the left pane. It'll be right here. So basically what we want to do is we want to prepare it. Um, you can do that first by erasing it. Click where it says erase. And it might say MS-DOS fat, but we don't want to use that. We want to use uh, Mac OS extended. Uh, you also have a choice where it says journaled to actually know the definition you can always go to mac.com but for this case we'll, we'll stick with the extended once you do that go ahead and erase it we're here we're right next to security options under the name don't worry about that just click on erase it says erase disk go ahead and click erase and this will take a couple of minutes okay so that took about a minute to erase the drive now we want to. What we want to do now is create the partitions, uh, which are actually called volumes. So click on the main drive itself. Once you do that, let's go ahead and partition it by going to the top right here, where it says partition. Uh, under volume scheme, it says current. Right now, it's set to one partition. But what I want to do instead is create up to five partitions. How many partitions you want to do is really up to you. You probably want to do two. Uh, in this case. I'm going to be creating five. This is because I'm going to be using three Macs for a system restore, or I'm sorry, a time machine. One of them will be a to, to create a bootable DVD, and another partition will be used to install the Mac 10.5 into that. So I'm going to click right here where it says current and go with five partitions. Okay, so on the first partition, I'm going to rename this. 
I'm gonna call it bootable DVD. And for the size, I'm gonna use eight gigs. Uh, the actual DVD is about seven point something gigs, but I'm gonna keep it at, at size eight gigs. On the second volume, I'm gonna use 10 gigs and I'm gonna call this I'm gonna install the Mac 10.5 into this volume so I'm gonna keep it at size 10 gigs um, the actual installation is a lot bigger than that but I'll show you how to make it smaller so it can fit into the 10 gigs uh, these are the three partitions I'm actually going to make them equal to one another. Okay, so now I have um, five partitions. You'll notice that they all have their names right here where it says uh, name iMac G5, for instance, is one of my partitions, and this is its size. Now, these three partitions are going to be used for a time machine, so they're basically equal partitions to one another. Uh, you can figure out the math by just clicking right here where it says size. Um, I have another partition, my first partition, which is a bootable DVD. That's where I'm, where I'm going to store the uh, the new DVD that I purchased, the Mac 10.5 upgrade DVD. And I have that at 8 gigs. Then I have my bootable 10.5. Of course, you can call these whatever you want. That's where I'm going to install the 10.5 into that. Once this is ready, um, let's go to Options. And you want to click right here where it says GUID Partition Table. You want to do that because the, basically I'm, I'm using a Mac Mini. Uh, it's an Intel Mac Mini, so that's why I need to use that partition. If you have the PPC uh, PPC Mac, then you want to click right here where it says Apple Partition Map. But for now, I'm going to click on GUID Partition Table. Click OK. Once it's ready, click on Apply. And one more time, click on Partition. These are, these are your five partitions right here. So this will take a couple of minutes, and we'll come back to that. Okay, that actually didn't take very long. Uh, once everything has been partitioned and completed, you'll notice that on the left hand side they'll appear right here. One thing I forgot to do, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention is uh, when you partition, you have a choice on the format. I don't have it anymore because I've did it already. But if you would, to, before you format, you can always choose right here where it says Mac OS Extended. You can choose whether it's, it's journaled or not journaled. I'm sorry about that. But let's go back now and um, restore the Mac OS X install DVD into your bootable DVD. In order to do that, click where it says, for, I'm sorry, first click here, then click under restore. Once you restore, once you click where it says restore, it'll ask for the source and destination. This is as simple as uh, dragging and dropping. So click right here where it says Mac OS X install DVD. It'll give you the source. The destination, I'm going to put it under the bootable DVD. Once you do that, don't worry about this. It says erase destination. Don't worry about that. Click restore. Again, click restore. And this will take another, of course, it will ask you for your password. Uh, this will take about another 10, 15 minutes. So we'll come back to that. Okay, once you get the image into the uh, your partition, now what we want to do now at this time is uh, to install that image or install the 10.5 into another partition, which is this one right here, the bootable 10.5 partition, or whatever you call your partition. Um, you should have ejected have ejected your DVD at this time. Now what we're going to do now is um, click on System Preferences, go to Startup Disk, and you'll notice that what you just did is going to appear right here. It says Mac OS X 10.5 on bootable DVD, which is what we just finished doing. Uh, you'll notice the symbol right here, which is the USB symbol. Once you get this, click on Restart. Music